What's the key to attracting premium clients without feeling salesy? Well, let's be honest. First up, you have to identify what premium looks like. Not everybody's premium is the same, ironically. Um, so there's definitely a, a piece in here around who are you trying to attract? Do you know them well enough? Do you know what's going on in their life that you can call out their fears, challenges, frustrations, and anxieties in that moment where they're most likely to need your support and help? And I think the next thing that's, that's really important with attracting those premium clients is the ability to storytell. And I don't know many executive coaches or senior consultants who got where they are without being able to tell a really good story. The problem that a lot of people come up against is they don't like to try and write that down. Writing it down makes a really hard process for a lot of people. It's not intuitive. It's hard to feel like they've got to get somebody else to help them with that. We're not copywriters by trade. It becomes really hard. But I bet when you get in front of somebody who might be an ideal client, you can tell stories till the cows come home and feel really confident doing it in person. And that's the beauty of video for me is you get the opportunity to get on there and explain your story or ear story, some analogies, some experiences you've had in the past and really showcase that in a way where people can feel that passion and energy coming straight from you. Um, when I've helped clients do that in the past, you know, it's been a, it's been a bit of a revelation for them because, you know, they've, they've tried to do that video themselves and it feels a bit weird, kind of just me talking to the camera. It feels weird now, right? Like I'm not going to, I'm not going to beat about the bush. It always feels weird, but there are tricks that you can implement that make that a little bit more comfortable. Like I always visualize myself talking to one of my clients in particular before they became a client so that when I'm talking, I'm really in my head, I'm, I'm kind of role playing talking to one person because you've got video connection there. The people can see that you're genuine and authentic. And that's the difference between you and a lot of other people out there at the moment is everybody's going for the EI stuff. It's great. It has a place. I'm not here to dis disregard EI completely. I like EI. It helps me do what I do, but it doesn't get to feature in the public very often. Nothing that I produce through AI goes out live, it gets filtered first. And I think that's the difference for a lot of people is that that organic, authentic, transparent version of themselves, you need to share it. It's not comfortable. It's not fun, but it is necessary and it will help you get audience attracted. It will get them off the fence and into interested. And it will guide them down that garden path to where they need to be to have a conversation with you without you having to chase them. And that's the important thing with premium clients. You can't go chasing them. We all know that. You've got to get them to come to you. You've got to attract them in.